Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, welcoming you back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm so stoked. I haven't recorded on this since February 7th, 2010, which is the same day I have lock up here for some reason. Hmm. Was that the day that Impolo was over here playing around on that? Has it been that long since I'd played this? Jeez. Yeah, because last time I recorded was during my downtime and I had no internet. Anyway, so in the last episode, we just bought the bottle from Mr. Afro Guy here, and now we're going to make way for Hyrule Field. That's right. We're going to feast our eyes upon Hyrule Field for the first time in this LP. Part 17. So draw your blade, get ready for some action! Ooh. It's too late in the day for this, though. You're not going to really get to see it in all its glory. But I suppose that's just one of the... Oh man, I, I thought I had the light sword for a second there. Like, dude, that was fast. We're almost done with the LP already, damn. Okay, so this is it. High rule feel. Of course, it looks about the same on the twilighty side as it does on the clean side. Mostly because it's about the same time of day. Like, it's the twilight time of day right now, here. Like, if you actually look, you can see, like, where it starts and where it stops. Like, a big dome is covering up a rather large part of the world there, if I do say so myself. But it's probably good that it's turning into daytime, because, or nighttime, should I say, because as you're going through the world, um, especially when it's nighttime like this, it makes it a lot easier to see the bugs. Now the bugs, ha ha ha, as I pointed out, are these little shiny things that you'll see. Well, no, that's not a bug, that's a heart piece. I'll take that. Cool, heart piece in a tree. Can't get much cleaner than that now, can you? But anyway, the bug is actually down here. And uh, as I said before, it's easier to see them at night because they shine. So basically, just walk up to it, press A to pick it up. And there you go. You caught a beetle. It's a male beetle. There are 12 different types of bugs in the game. There's a male and a female of each type. So, actually 12. Well, did I say 12 first? I don't remember if I said 12 or 24. But, um, anyway, generally speaking, the males and the females will usually be in the same general spot. I'm watching the capture car because if there's lightning, it might be lagging. I don't know. Now, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I'm not, to <coughs> I'm not totally sure about this, but I think... What are you doing, dude? Oh, oh the bird's just everywhere. Ugh! Yeah. Oh, hey, he dropped a... Yellow rupee. You don't see that too often. You dead over here? You too, huh? You ain't getting me. Sorry to say it. Anyway, so the female beetle is actually um, in a tree up here somewhere. I'm gonna just check up over here. Now, while it's nighttime, I'd rather do this now. Hey! Oh my god, okay. Here's the male man. He just kind of kindly interrupted me. Go no further. There's a black wall ahead that blocks the way. Thought I'd deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I'm the honorable and dependable letter carrier known as some as the postman. I'm gonna introduce myself, take this letter, and read it at your leisure. Okay, to read a letter, press start, you know how to do that. Well, I'll show you how to do it, actually. Onward to mail! Okay, well... What can I say? So pretty much you go in here, and, and your letters are right here, so you press A. It's the post office, I notice. I have a letter. If I have a letter for you, I will approach you at high speed. Please do not flee. Okay. That's nice. Who gets a letter from the mailman? Like, have you ever gotten a letter from the mailman? I've never gotten a letter from the mailman. Okay, you guys, I think I just found the bug. Right over here on the east side. If you look up here in the tree, well, there she is right there. So all you gotta do is get a target and get the boomerang. Bring her down to you. But she might be, sometimes the bugs might be a little hard to catch, so you have to come after them and just be quick with the... quick on the A draw. There you go, female beetle. So those two are taken care of. That's pretty much all the bugs that are going to be in this area. And hey, look, it's morning time. Let's hope morning time doesn't lag my capture card like it does on Wind Waker. I'm going to be watching it, though. Ew, that sounds weird when I turn my head, don't I? <laughs> Gee, that sounds like a totally different person. Coming up on the toilet. Yep, get some more toilet paper. That's right, so you just head on up this uh, road to what would normally be Kakariko Village, but as you see, like before, it's blocked off by the dome. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. 
You remember, right? You know what this is. If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. At least as long as it takes for you to set the other side. Yeah, let's go see the light of Elden. What the hey? Elden. Woo. So, walk on up to the Triforce, or the, the uh, Twilight Wall here, and prepare to get sucked in. Let me let you in? Yep, I want in. I gotta go. Oh. Warren crabs me like a hand and oh my god, it's so shocking. No matter how many times I see that, it's always shocking to me. Even though I've seen it a hundred times before, it's always still shocking to me because I can't take it anymore because I can't take the pain. <laughs> okay, so we got sucked back into the Twilight Realm, which means, of course, we will be turning back into a wolf again. <laughs> and just when I thought, yeah, just when you're starting to appreciate all the humanity again, you turn back into animality. Yeah, you said that before. <laughs> dusty? My clothes ain't dusty. What are you talking about? Anyway, so back as a wolf. I guess it's kind of nice being a wolf, though, because then you can dash. Anyway, well, that's peculiar. There's something kind of, uh, smoking in the ground there. It's weird looking. Anyway, when you see something like this, you want to take a sniff of it, because it's going to be important. And the sniff reminds you of your friends. The ones who got captured. The one who's got captured. Yeah, even little Colin. You learned the youth's scent. See, isn't being a wolf more convenient? Now use X to hone your senses. And when you hone your senses, you can actually follow the smell. You can follow your nose, and we can dash to make things faster here. But if you already know where to go, you don't really need to keep an eye on it. It's just, it's cool. It's cool to walk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy crap, you old. Holy crap! Oh, just get away, get away, get away, get away! Holy crap! I did not just let them kick my ass. Ugh! Well, you can hear me smashing the controller here. Oof. Oh, that's that was stupid. That was the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. That's even stupider than like. Stupid. Did I just die? Are you serious? Uh, I guess I have to show that. How the hell did I let that happen? I don't believe I just died. That's crazy. That I, for some reason, I just didn't see that coming. Like I knew I'd. Oh, I have to keep that in. I mean, I can't pretend like that didn't happen. There, see, there you go. You hit it on the first try now. I'm crying out loud. Uh, Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. I am so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but what is this? There's no bridge. What's this? The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. What a pain in my ass. Well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. Well, I don't need my map because I happen to know where the bridge is. You might remember yourself because we actually looked at it earlier. Yeah, I hear you. It's called a portal. I'm trying to talk to my subscribers and you're trying to tell me about portals and crap. Okay, so now we can actually warp around um, as a wolf. You don't, you're not really given total free reign of this just yet, but you can do it now because it's necessary to advance the plot. But anyway, it just so happens that this warp here to North Farron Woods puts us right next to that bridge that we saw. You know, the one that's going up the cliff. It looks totally stupid. See, I told you, we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. Uh... I don't see any bridges around here, you know? Damn. Unless you talk... Well, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, the sarcasm... The... Never mind. I'm not very good at sarcasm, what can I say? So, anyway, when you... Sometimes you can do this in the game. Like, you can actually go somewhere and warp something back with you. And it's hard to know, necessarily, when you are either able or supposed to do it. And this is one of those cases where you're supposed to do it. You only have to do it like two or three times in the game. But, and there's one time that you can do it that's actually optional. So, it's, uh... It's kind of a neat little feature, though. I like it. It's fun. So basically, you come back to the toilet, and this time you brought your bridge with you, because you don't have anything else to get across with, so you can't make any... can't seem to come up with any bathroom analogies that have to do with getting across. Unless you're talking about getting a stench across or something. 
I don't know. Now, I gotta be running out of time here in 16 minutes, just as I thought. So isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. Let's keep going. So, yeah, so now we can finally cross the bridge to the other side, but before we go over there just yet, there is... Oh, wait, I don't know if I can do that here or not. I don't think I can. There's a hard piece, actually, that you can get. It's over there in the distance. You can get it with a boomerang, but I'm not totally sure if you can get that just yet. If you use your senses here, you can still see the smoke, or the, the scent, so just keep following it, and uh, eventually it leads you to a dead end. Oh, whatever are we going to do now? There's two guys back there. What are they doing there? They're scratching their butts, is what it looks like to me. <laughs> what are they trying to keep in, or out? That's right, we can dig in. But we're going to do that next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.